Hi guys, I'm Chris and I'm going to be showing you how to take apart a SteelSeries Nimbus controller. I didn't see a video on YouTube on how to do it, so here it is. Um, there, are, there are four screw holes in the back, here, 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 and here. Uh, I already took them apart. I already took the screws out and they look like this. Can you see that? They're six-sided and it has a little uh, security uh, pin in the middle sticking out of it. Um, I was able to get it out with this six-sided one even if it has that pin there. Uh, I was still able to unscrew them. It still kind of fits and unscrews. So. Keep that in mind. All right. Um, so once once you have it out, the main part of it you could split it apart, but it is tabbed in at the very top. Like you could split apart the bottom kind of, and then you would if you have long enough nails, you could uh, run your fingernail along the top or like a guitar pick or a pry opening tool or something like that. But yeah, you need to. There are, there are these, uh, it was easier off camera, but, uh, I'll try to get them. See, there are those tabs there. Oh, there's two on the top. Okay. It's open. You can open it up. And here's the type of battery. Uh, that it has FT seven one two two five seven P eight hundred twenty ma three point seven volts P H A C K one one L. Uh, luckily the the refurbished or the as is one I bought on eBay didn't have a bad battery. Um, it only had a bad cable. So, uh, here's the uh, cable number if uh, you need it. One of the cables that I, on the one that I had purchased were bad. The uh, connector was a little corroded. So, here's the uh, part number, CVILUX. Number E two zero eight nine zero three. I think it's the same uh, same cable that they use for touch pads on some laptops. You could search that number on eBay, and you'll be able to find it. And one other thing to note is that uh, these cables they uh, see this black part right here. You have to like kind of pull it out, pull the two sides out, and then you can slide this out. There's the contacts. Uh, the contacts on one of them that I had was was corroded, so I, I just scraped off uh, a little bit of the clear part to reveal uh, new contacts, and then I snipped it off, and th that fixed my problem. Um, So, so for these two, these two, they face down the, the, the side here. Uh, one face is down, and the other one faces uh, the one on the back side faces down towards the back side of it. I guess that's it. Um, yeah, I, I did have to purchase a new one just to isolate the problem. Uh, by testing each one on the, the working controller till I figured out what was broken. I thought I thought at first it was the battery, so I switched out the battery and the battery ended up being good on on, on the as is one. So yeah. Okay. Uh hope that video helped you guys. If it did, give a thumbs up and leave leave a comment if you have any questions.
Have a good day.